Now I'm going to take you through how to put together the PDF pattern. At the very first page will be a map of all of your PDF pieces. And this is really helps you figure out where things go together in case you're not sure. It's a little bit like putting together a jigsaw puzzle, but it's like the easiest jigsaw puzzle you ever did. If this is not your jam, you can always download the print shop version, which also comes with your pattern purchase, and you can send it to your local print shop or Kinko's or any place that will print it for you on, on large format paper, and then you're ready to go. All, the way all the pieces go together is that it's organized so that you don't have to print the whole thing. You can just print the pieces that you want. You're gonna want the front, the back, the godet. That's the essential pieces for this top. Then if you want, over on the side, you'll see the neck band and the arm band. And if you're making the version, version B with the cowl and the long sleeves, those are at the bottom. So if you're making, in which case you wouldn't have to print these pages and there's instructions at the top. Before you print out your pattern, be sure to check to make sure that your printer settings are correct. You'll see on the first page, there's this box that says two centimeters or five, uh, five centimeters or two inches square. And you wanna just measure that to make sure that it is in fact exactly the size that you want it to be. Occasionally your printer settings may make things slightly larger or smaller. If that should happen, check your printer settings and try again. Also, be sure to download the, the pattern in Adobe if you use the Microsoft or the Google um, PDF reader, you may run into a few problems. The other thing that you should notice is that there are margins along the page on all four sides. And you'll need to either overlap or remove some of those margins to get the pattern to fit together properly. I'm going to show you the way that I like to do it, which is just to overlap them. I like to print my patterns on inexpensive printer paper that's see-through, a little see-through. It's see-through enough. One of the things that we always have in Style Falcon patterns are nice bold lines to help us see a little better what's going on with the pattern. And so it's really pretty easy to overlap them if you have paper that's a little see-through. Or if you want to use heavier paper, you need to just trim off two sides. Usually you can do one side and then the bottom and overlap them that way so that you get everything lined up properly. And on the side, you can see there's a little indication to show you what's the next piece and they should fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. And if you get lost, again, always refer to the map and that can help you along. So to overlap them, really all you have to do is just line them up and you'll see where they, the lines are. And you'll just hit it with a little tape. And this diamond shape in the middle here is 2A and that should line up. And then you can just go ahead and put the rest of them together. This is a little boring, but I think that people are often daunted by the, the prospect of putting this together. It really isn't that complicated. It really doesn't take that long. So I'm just going to do it in real time and I'll show you. It's not so bad. When you do the overlap, occasionally things won't show through and you will have to, you can see the green line is showing here, but there's enough, of, enough information on the page to help you figure out where that green line needs to go. And you wanna be sure to tape in the piece itself so that when you cut it out later, it will all hold together nicely. You can see that this is already starting to shape, take shape. Here's the back. And this is the, the top of the godet. And this is the first row. And then there's another row just after that. So we've done with the first row and now we're gonna start putting the second row together. And it goes together exactly the same way the first row goes together. Again, I'm just overlapping and I am matching up the, the little tabs that have the, the number, the code for the, the number and the um, letter these little triangles here to keep everything organized.
And again, it's pretty easy to just look, kind of look through the paper to see how things are supposed to line up. But if you want, you could always trim some of them off, some, some of the margins on the, the bottom and the side off, and then overlap them that way. I think that that's a method that I use when I'm doing a really complex project where I want to be sure that I'm seeing every tiny detail of the pattern. But this is a pretty simple pattern. It just has a few pieces, and they're pretty big pieces. There's not a lot of really uh, intense precision involved. <clears throat> so now we have the second one lined up and you can say, here's the bottom of the godet and here's the other piece at the back. And then they go together just like this. So you stack one on top of the other. You can look through to see how everything lines up. And then you tape all that together. One of these old fashioned tape dispensers is pretty handy for this sort of thing, I think. Okay, so now you can see here's the whole Godet piece, which is this, you know, big sort of rhombus uh, shaped piece, and here's the grain line. And here are the pattern markings that you're going to need to have to line it up with the top and the bottom when you're done. I mean the, the front and the back. The front and back when you're done. So now we're done with that and we're going to move right along and complete the, the last row which has the, the bottom of the back and the front and then we will go over and do the, the armband and the neck band. One of the things about PDF patterns that really interested me when I first started sewing again, um, sewing clothing after taking a, a break in my life, was I realized that there was a lot of instant gratification involved with it. That if you saw a pattern that you liked and you wanted to just jump in and get sewing right away, you could just buy it and put it together and you were on your way. I think it also helps. I personally became frustrated over time with tissue paper patterns because I couldn't, I couldn't read them very easily. The tissue paper is transparent and it's it, usually the lines and the ink aren't very dark on it. And I would find myself really struggling sometimes to be able to read. And while I, I mean, let's face it, I'm not a kid. I grew up with big four tissue paper patterns like a lot of you probably did. So, that was what I was used to, and it took a little while for me to get used to this, but now that I, I understand it and I have a method down, I really like it. So here we are, this is the third row, and you can see how it just fits on top of the previous row. So I'm going to tape this all together, and then we'll be done with the taping of the, the three major pieces. Again, you just kind of line everything up. Hit it with some tape. So here we are, here are the three main pieces. We have the front, which is cut on the fold, and then we have the godet over here, and then we have the back. So here are your three main pieces. That wasn't too painful, I hope. And now we're going to go on to do the neckband and armband. As I mentioned, those are on separate pages of the PDF. You can see that they're over here. So if you're going to do the, the cowl and sleeve version, it's easy to just omit those in the printing. And then if you are going to make this version like we are, you can just omit the sleeve and the cowl pieces. So it makes it pretty quick. And these are really easy to put together. I mean, they're just armband, neckband. So it's just like a long strip. So again, just like we did, tape them together really quickly. The armband, of course, is the shorter of the two. You will cut 
two armbands and you will cut one neckband. So there we have it. This big scary uh, pain in the butt world of putting together a PDF pattern is all done for you and the pattern is already cut out. So now what we have to do is cut out our fabric.